49 to go. Air ball there by Kathy Kahn, although she's at the free throw line, she's playing a heck of a good defensive game. 349 here in the Adams Middle School brand new facility. She fires it up. No good. Rebound by Betsy Lanes. Jessica Hamilton. And there'll be a foul. And 347 to play. Betsy Lane takes the ball out of bounds. They're going down the court. Over to Jamie Ratcliffe. Big play there. She dumps it off to number 25, Jessica Hamilton. Back out front to Misty Clark. Misty Clark with the ball. She's driving around, wanted to double dribble, but she caught herself. Oh, and it nearly thrown away, but big save by R Ratcliffe. And I believe that score was by Baker, if I wasn't, if I didn't miss that correctly. Here come the Lady Purple Flashes down the floor. And number 24 takes it the length of the court. And that is going to be Jennifer Mullins. So a foul there on... Uh, Didn't catch the foul. Here comes the play. Purple flash. Mer McKinney will be called for walking, and that brings some excitement over here from the Betsy Lane fans. 3.07 to go. Here comes the Prestonsburg, excuse me, the Betsy Lane Bobcats, the Lady Bobcats. Number 23, Misty Clark, over to Jessica Hamilton. Big shot play by Baker, no good. Rebound by Ratliff, and gets it over to Clark, and she shoots, and she'll have a foul. Called against uh, 54 of Martin, Kathy Hall. That's her second. Her second foul, 2.50 to go here in the first quarter. Number 23, Misty Clark to the line. She scores the first one. In and out on the second one. Big rebound there by McKinney, and she is playing a really good ball game, as all these girls are. Floyd with the ball. She's playing a good ball game. Going to be three-second call. You can't stay in the lane that long. I used to watch Rick Smith stay in the lane that long, but he was usually trying to fly. They're at Allen Central. And they pulled the ball up there, Ratliff did. And the Bobcats, they're ahead finally, taking the lead, 19 to 18. First score there, big score by number 25, Jessica Hamilton. They're ahead by three now, as the ball game's definitely going towards Betsy Lane, as the Lady Purple Flash is on the drive, and something seems to have happened, as there is a foul on... Uh, a foul on and Misty Clark picked up that foul that will put the ball out of bounds for the purple flash Martin dishes around there gets it into McKinney and she loses control of it three points is the difference here 21 to 18 Here comes the Bobcats, down on their luck. 21 to 18, they throw it up. Big play there by Ratcliffe, Jamie Ratcliffe, that number 11. She's playing a good ball game now for the Lady Bobcats. Here comes Crystal Floyd, she throws her up, and she'll be fouled by number 32, Christy Osborne. What a good crowd we have tonight from Martin gathering in for they have both their boys and the girls in this here championship and this is only the second time that that's ever happened. That both teams, girls and boys from the same uh, school end up in the championship game. And my buddy Rick Smith uh, hanging in there for me. Coming in handy, buddy. 
Juan, 59 to go here in this first half of play. Yeah, Crystal Floyd shoots and misses. Rebound there by the Bobcats. Number 23, Misty Clark. She drives all the way and misses. Big rebound there by number 25, Hamilton. Big shot there by Clark. Rebounding around there, and the Purple Flash come up with it. Here comes the Purple Flash from Martin Way, and Veronica McKinney will be called for a carrying the ball penalty. That will give the ball right back to Betsy Lane. 18 for Martin, 23 for Betsy Lane here in the first half. The Lady Bobcats up on top, they're eyeing that big Here we go. 120 to play here in the first half here from the Adams Middle School, named after Dr. James D. Adams, a longtime board member. They're playing for the trophy tonight. Championship game. Over to Betsy Lane's number 23, Misty Clark. She fires no good. The purple flash on the run. And they'll be called for a foul there, Betsy Lane will. 11, Jamie Ratliff. That will send Crystal Floyd to the line. First shot, no good. She'll get another one. Into the ball game now for Martin. Number 30, Melissa Mullins. She'll probably be taking out number 54, Kathy Hall. The next shot for Crystal. 103 to play here in the first half. Up, no good. And that ball knocked out of bounds. And it will be knocked off a Martin player. Betsy Lane regains control, 18 to 23. They're up on top here in the finals. Radcliffe over to Baker, back out to Clark, back to Baker, back to Clark. Radcliffe picks. Epling, or excuse me, Clark driving around there. 40 seconds to play here in the first half. Big shot by Radcliffe, no good. Rebound there goes to uh, number 25, Jessica Hamilton, but she loses control of it with 38 seconds to play here in the first half. The ball will go to Martin, and they need to try to get something together here in these last 35 seconds of play. They're down by five. Mullins driving around. Over to number 24. Mullins, another Mullins. Both Mullins is out on the floor now. Big rebound by Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe, she drives the length of the floor. Lays her up. Good. 25 to 18, and the momentum has shifted and went to Betsy Lane big time here in the championship game. McKinney trying to stir some action up here in the closing seconds, and she fires up a shot in the lane and will be fouled. Here at Adams Middle School. Here comes a shot for Veronica McKinney from the free throw line with four seconds to play in this first half. Up, got her. Big, big play there. Shot for McKinney. She shoots the next one. Got her. Oh, she rolls out. I thought for sure it was going in there. And the close of the first half is here with Martin down over the Lady Bobcats, 19 to 25. We'll be back here at Love here at the Adams Middle School where he never likes for me to say his name. <laughs> but we are here to uh, bring you this championship game and we're at halftime, 19 to 25, where, um, where Martin is currently being upset over Betsy Lane. Uh, the Lady Bobcats, 25 to 19, and we're ready to start the second half. And we want to thank our sponsors, as you all at home have been watching. Thank that Fashion Bazaar, and thank Billy Ray's Restaurant here in Prestonsburg, and thank that Zeppelin's Restaurant in Martin. And Martin, two fine places to eat, and one fine place to buy clothes. 
as our sponsors tonight are bringing you this ball game and Paul Gearhart and Channel 5 Sports Department tickled to death to be here at Prestonsburg, Kentucky tonight where Betsy Lane and uh, Martin are taking a ball game up on top. Joe Back here to bring you the broadcast of tonight's uh, basketball game here at the championship game of the grade school, girls grade school tournament. I see old Brent Allen over here tonight into the crowd. He's got two boys play for Prestonsburg or Adams Middle School. So second half underway. Three, 23 there for Betsy Lane, uh, Misty Clark. And into the ball game for Betsy Lane is Misty Clark, uh, Amanda Epling, uh, Jamie Ratcliffe, and uh, Aaron Baker, and Jessica Hamilton, the first five. In for Martin to start the second half as you see play has begun. Big play there by number 52, uh, Kathy Kahn. Jennifer Mullins into the ball game. Crystal Floyd makes the start. Kathy Hall makes the start. And Veronica McKinney. All to start here in the second half for both teams. 25 to 21. Martin cuts the lead to four here at Prestonsburg. Adams Middle School. Championship game of the girls. Big three-point attempt by uh, uh, Crystal, excuse me, uh, Jamie Ratliff, and that puts them up 27 to 21. Although that three-point attempt is no count, it is not good in grade school, but she did fire from outside the three-point lane. 21-27, the big game next. Up on top, Prestonsburg and Martin. And Crystal Floyd, rebound shot, put her in. 23-27, cuts the lead to four as Martin working their way back up on top. Here comes Ratcliffe. Oh, she throws the ball away, but saved there. Big save by Betsy Lane's Misty Clark back to Ratcliffe. She shoots up, no good. And there's gonna be a foul. Well, we got pushing away on Veronica McKinney. Veronica McKinney, she puts a foul up. That's her first foul. 4.26 to play here in the third. From Prestonsburg. Betsy Lane. Epling takes it out of bounds, tries to get it into Clark. No good. Rebound McKinney. She's driving the length of the floor, lays it up. And I'm afraid they're going to call that uh, charge. Ooh. So that'll give the ball right back to Betsy Lane. Charging foul on McKinney. That's her second foul here. People are beginning to file in here and make a big, big crowd here tonight. I'll tell you, the bleachers are on one side of the gym, so you folks at home can't really tell, but this thing is really beginning to be a big crowd. Big thing, Ed Taylor told me it would be. Play there by Betsy Lane, big rebound by Martin, and it'll go to Martin as it was knocked out of bounds by number 22, Misty Reynolds for the Lady Bobcats. Big Dale Hall here tonight. Cheering on the purple flash. He, he goes to all the other games. Thrown away, and the Bobcats now have control. Up comes Ratcliffe. She shoots, no good. Rebound around there. Saved by number 25, Hamilton, but Martin comes in control of it. And Crystal Floyd lost control of it, and it stays in the hands of Martin as it was last touched by the Big Blue. Comes up there, comes McKinney. She shoots, no good. Rebounds Ratcliffe, she's on the run. Let's see what she does. She takes it the length of the floor, lays it off the glass, no good. Big rebound by number 25. Hamilton, no good, and McKinney is on the run. For the purple flash. I bet you Mickey McKinney, that's his girl out there, because she plays like he did when he was in high school. He was a great athlete himself. Big play there as 
They're now cutting the lead 25 to 27. Here comes the Bobcats. They're piling in here from all over the place. Big, big crowd tonight here from Prestonsburg Middle School. Big rebound for Martins. Kathy Hall goes to uh, down, that was McKinney. She goes down to Crystal Floyd and misses it. And the Bobcats have control. This game's going to hold the wire. Up, no good by Clark. Here comes Floyd. No good, and it's a horse race. Crystal misses on that one. Jamie Radcliffe in control. 25, 27, the clock running here in the third quarter. A lot of emotion being displayed here tonight from both sides of the fans. Over to Betsy Lane's Radcliffe. She goes inside, shoots Scudder. 29, 25, and I'll tell you, they are playing some good ball here. Girl for girls game. You don't usually see this kind of a game from a girls game. I'll tell you. Here we go. Good by Kathy. Hall puts it in there. And I'll tell you this. I'm telling you folks, are you watching this game at home? I'll tell you, this is a really good basketball game here at the great school tournament. Floyd County Championship. The best four here tonight. Laser up by number 23, Misty Clark. She gets her own rebound and misses again. Rebound shot by number 25, Hamilton. And uh, Martin gets the rebound. Here comes Kathy Hall. She throws down the court to Crystal Floyd. Got her. Tie ball game. 29-29. 1, 15 to go here in the third quarter. And this is a big, big game. 29 29 tie ball game here in the third quarter with a minute to play in the third wprg joe back mark love here to bring you this broadcast lays it up by radcliffe no good gets her own rebound goes over to hamilton and hamilton decides to, let's just let's just set this thing up here back to radcliffe she takes it one on one lays her up no good gets her own rebound she looks inside throws the ball away and Veronica McKinney on the run. She takes her down the floor herself. No good. Big rebound of fire, Veronica McKinney. And she does it. 31 29. And Veronica McKinney displayed a little one on one. She took the matters in her own hand. And I'd say Betsy Lane wants to sit around and talk about it here with 28 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Ben Martin up on top, 31 to 29. We'll be back. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. School gymnasium here at the brand new uh, educational complex here in Prestonsburg, Prestonsburg. And they seem to be in the direction at the Board of Education to going to a consolidation middle school complex as the James A. Duff has one as well on Wright Beaver and the middle school here at Prestonsburg. And this is a new concept here in the county where they're merging and putting the kids together. And Martin up on top, 31 to 29, here in the closing seconds of the third quarter. Betsy Lane took time out to talk about it. I'm sure they wanted to try to uh, get a bucket to tie it up here in the third, but that big defense from Martin just tied up uh, number 14. 
Aaron Baker from making any progress, and the ball goes to the Purple Flash. Kathy Hall shoots, no good. Big rebound, good. Let's see, no good, no good. Time had expired, so that puts the third quarter score 31 to 29. We'll be back with the fourth and final quarter of play in this girls' championship game uh, in just a few moments. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. At the Adams Middle School where we are watching the Martin Purple Flash, Lady Purple Flash, as I must say, take on the Lady Bobcats. And in six minutes, one of these schools will be crowned the 1990 Floyd County girls grade school champions 31 to 29 the uh, Martin school up on top and a big play Kathy Hall 54 for press or uh, for Martin shoots the ball no good and Kathy Kahn in the ball game for uh, uh, Martin and Doug DeRossett directing his girls on uh, some play here along with Coach Ortega, Sheila Ortega. Preston, or, excuse me, Preston Spurs. Betsy Lane and Martin here in the final fourth. They're dribbling around. Oh, stolen by Martin, and here we go. Verona McKinney over to number 24, Jennifer Mullins, and she loses control of the ball. Buddy, I haven't seen you in a while, buddy. Good, good. Chris Sloan in the crowd tonight. Where, you, hey, Chris, where are you? Where are you in school at now? UK. Uh, what are you majoring in? Engineering. Well, good to see you here tonight, buddy. Chris Sloan, all-star guard from Prestonsburg. Here at the 506 mark, 31 to 29. Crystal Floyd shoots up, no good. Rebound, uh, Ratcliffe, Jamie Ratcliffe in on the run for the Lady Bobcats. He, she fires no good, knocked out of bounds, and let's see just whose ball it is. I believe it's going to stay Bobcat. 31-29 here in the fourth quarter. Big, big ball game here in town tonight. I guess that's blue too, ain't it? And it's blue ball again. And Charlie Collins getting a little uh, comment from the crowd tonight. Back out front to Jamie Radcliffe. Over to Misty Clark. Back to, she dribbles around. She takes it inside herself. She's fouled and the basket will be good. Oh, big, big, big play for Betsy Lane. And that quiets and quiets and down this Martin crowd here, so. 31 31 and if and now that will uh, let's see here put uh, one point one point up on the board one point free throw attempt here three point play attempt her shot good by Misty Clark okay Veronica McKinney with the ball Coming down the floor, she pushes it down the floor, tries to set something up. She's down by one point, her team is. She scores, puts them ahead, 33-32 in a close and heated match between Betsy Lane and Martin. Glad you can tune in and stay in tuned in. The next game will be even better, 33-32 as the Martin boys team on, comes onto the floor. And a big play by Clark. She drives around and scores. 34-33. Big, big play here tonight. Crystal Floyd drives and shoots. Rebound there by number 32, Christy Osborne, into the ball game for Betsy Lane Bobcats. And a big shot there by number 23, Misty Clark. 
and these lady bobcats have pulled it together 36 to 33 veronica mckinney in on the drive and she'll be penalized as she is called for carrying the ball boy is she not an athlete i'll tell you when she i, I would say that uh, coach compton bonita compton will be glad to see veronica mckinney put on a rebel uniform at allen central she has got so so much talent jamie ratcliffe shoots the ball no good and they're in the paint, scrambling around. Comes up Clark. She scored eight points here unanswered. She is hot. I'll tell you what, that Misty Clark uh, for Betsy Lane is really playing a heck of a ball game here, folks. 33 to 38, 3, 11 to play here in the fourth and final quarter. And the Bobcats get a turnover by Betsy, by uh, Martin. And I'll tell you what, Doug Durant with 308 on the clock to go he's going to sit around and talk it over here with 308 to go the score the bobcats 38 the purple flash from over at martin 33 we'll be back in just a moment fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling one app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Girls championship game from Prestonsburg. And I'll tell you what, Mark, I've been in a lot of schools all over this East Kentucky, Pike and Floyd County, and they have, Floyd Counties have got something to be proud about here in Prestonsburg. They have built one fine school down here, here from Prestonsburg, Adams Middle School, where the Bobcats up on top 38 to 33 over the favored Martin Purple Flash. And Misty Clark shoots. She's hotter than a firecracker. I'll tell you what, that little woman is a flat right out playing some basketball. 40 to 33, 240 to play here in the fourth quarter. Doug DeRossett's Martin Purple Flash has dug a hole for themselves. Veronica McKinney gonna have to get cranking here herself. Shot there by number 24, uh, Jennifer Mullins. And that cuts the lead to five, 35 to 40, and a penalty, and it goes back to Martin. Whoa, whoa, I'll tell you what, how things can change. 226 to play, and the Purple Flash have an opportunity to cut that lead to three here with a two-point goal. Into Veronica McKinney, and she'll be called for walking. Oh, ah, she could have been fouled there. But the officials, they have the whistles. Let's see what happens. Betsy Lane with control of the basketball, bringing it down the floor. Aaron Baker, she shoots no good. Big, big rebound by Mullins, and it's gonna be, she'll have it knocked out there by uh, Baker, and it will remain Martin Purple Flash basketball. Here come the Purple Flash. They're down by five, 2.12 to go. Stay tuned, this is a heck of a basketball game. Back out to the Purple Flash. And it'll go off her leg there of number 30, Melissa Mullins. And they turn it over, and now it's uh, Martin Ball. Timeout, Martin, 35 to 40. Two minutes to go. We'll be back here with the word of our sponsors. When you add up all the Wi-Fi connected devices in your home these days, you'll be surprised how many there are and how much bandwidth they're using. Do the math. It just may add up to needing faster internet and Wi-Fi. Good thing Gearheart Broadband has reliable download speeds up to one gig and Plume Adaptive Home Wi-Fi to keep all your devices well connected. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or visit Gearheart Broadband online for a great offer is here from the Adams Middle School. Glad you all can tune in for this broadcast where the Martin Lady Purple Flash are down by five with the Betsy Lane Lady Bobcats entertaining a five point lead here in the final two minutes of play. Over to, uh oh, she's gonna be called for walking, number 52, Kathy Kong. 
So that is a big turnover for Doug DeRossett's Martin basketball team. TV5, WPRG here at Adams Middle School. Over to Misty Clark, she finds Hamilton and it'll be knocked away by number 24, Jennifer Mullins. <laughs> 32, inbounds the ball over to Clark and that was Christy Osborne. She threw the ball inbounds to her and that, uh, to Clark. She drove inside the paint and was fouled. So Misty Clark will get a chance to shoot two with the clock stopped. 149 to go. She misses the first one. Her next shot is Good, no, no good, 40 to 35. Down the floor, she travels down the floor, Veronica McKinney does, she lays her up. Good, 37 to 40. Up come the Bobcats. Jamie Ratcliffe, over, she wanted to go to Clark, she changes her mind, comes back, dishes off to Misty Clark. 119 to go here. They're going to have to pressure. And they need a turnover bad. Uh, Martin Purple Flash does as the clock is approaching the minute mark. Oh, they find uh, number 32, uh, Osborne, and she fires up no good. Hamilton on the rebound, no good, and it'll be top. And it'll be a uh, jump uh, ball, and that will keep it in the hands of uh, Martin. 103 to go here. Excuse me, in the hands of Betsy Lane. 37 to 40, down by three. Stay tuned, I'm telling you. Big, big play. Big inbounds play by Jamie Ratcliffe as she scores two, 42 to 37. And Martin Purple Flash in somewhat of some trouble here. Here come Betsy Lane, and they fire up by Clark. No good. Rebound, Veronica McKinney. She looks to the clock, sees she's running out of time. She brings it down the floor. She shoots. Got her! 39-42, and they need a timeout. By Preston, or by Martin, and they get it. So with 34 seconds to go, 39-42, to 42, and I'll tell you what, boys, we've got us a heck of a basketball game right on top here where Doug DeRossett's girls are only down by three with 34 seconds to play. Now, Betsy Lane, on the other hand, they're up, and they're going to uh, have to try to hold the ball. They're going to have to expect a foul from Martin, so it's critical at this point in time to shoot those free throws and hit them here in the big championship game of the girls, a great school tournament. We'll be back with the closing 34 seconds here in just a moment. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. This is a basketball game where there's 34 seconds to go before they'll be crowned the champions. And I see my old buddy Brooks Stumbo and Michael Clark in the crowd tonight. And they get the ball inbound, Betsy Lane does. The last 30 seconds are approaching. Jamie Radcliffe with the ball. She dribbles around, gets tied up. It'll go to Martin on a jump ball. Yes, it does. 25 seconds to go, 39 to 42. And these lady purple flashes say never say die as they're living along here, playing along. They don't need to turn the ball over, that's for sure. They get it in the hands of their all-star guard. And they call a foul on number 14 of Betsy Lane. And that will be Erin Baker. And she has played such a hard ball game tonight. All these girls have. I am so impressed. I call for the, the boys' varsity all over the 15th region. And I'll tell you what, if the boys' varsity basketball teams would put out the effort that these girls have, I'll tell you, they'd be a lot better play here in the uh, 15th region. Final 18 seconds. Veronica McKinney fires up, no good. And there's a foul on the play. And that sends number 30, 
uh, Mullins girl, I'm sure of that. Let's see what her first name is. Melissa. Melissa Mullins will go with to the free throw line for two big pressure free throws. We'll be back with the free throw attempts and the closing 13 seconds here on your sports information station, Channel 5. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Adams Middle School in front of a heated, heated crowd tonight, full of emotion. Mullins will go to the free throw line. The first one, no good. Oh, she's tried so, so hard. And you can see the disappointment all over that little girl's face, man. 30, Melissa Mullins, she goes for the next one. And this one will put them down by two if they can just get it in there. Betsy Lane up on top. This one, no good. Rebound, though, goes to her. They need to get a shot off, and they're fouled again. Okay, Martin has been fouled, so that'll send the Mullins girl back. Uh, well, they're not in the bonus, so they'll, they'll take it out. They've got 10 seconds to go. They're down by three. They go into Veronica McKinney. She's the all-star. She sets, fires, got it! Oh, 41 to 42. <coughs> Timeout. Timeout, Betsy Lane. Oh, man. Oh, man, i tell you what. One second to go. 41 to 42. A big, big play there by Veronica McKinney. Their only hope is to get a five-second count. I just put everybody, i tell you, their only hope now, 41 to 42, and it just looks like Martin is going to run out of time. I'll tell you what. 41 to 42. Oh, how close can it get, Mark Love? I'm telling you, it's everything that Ed Taylor said it would be. This is my first uh, grade school tournament here in Floyd County. I've been to uh, I've been to the OVC tournament. I've been to the SEC tournament, the NCAA tournament. I've do the high school games here in the county, and I'll tell you what. Uh, this is about as exciting as you will run into basketball. 41 to 42, one second to go. Let's see what the Betsy Lane Bobcats are gonna do. They can go the length of the bounds. They steal it and it's the champions. Oh man, it goes to Betsy Lane and Martin just ran out of time. It's just that simple, Martin ran out of time. So the champions are, the girls are Martin, or excuse me, or Betsy Lane. And we will be back with the post-game interviews and festivities here on the Channel 5 Sports Network. A satellite signal comes from outer space. The satellite office across the country. And their call center? Hmm, we'd better not even go there. So if you want to do business in your hometown with people you know and trust, call cable. Gearheart Broadband is locally owned and operated. Our number one concern is giving you, your neighbors, and your community friendly, local customer support. Get everything you want. Go local. Go Gearheart Broadband. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent peace of mind at home or away protect what's important to you enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system Be back on Channel 5 Sports.
joining me right now here on the floor is my good friend Ed Taylor, and we just witnessed one good uh, championship game where Betsy Lane has really somewhat of an upset over these favored Martin girls, and uh, they're enjoying it. Well, Sheila Ortega has done a great job with these girls. When she took them over last year, you know, they went and, uh, never had much of a program over there until she took over. She worked real hard with them. They're a good bunch of girls, and uh, they have really come along this year, and they, they deserve this win. I, I don't know if it's so much of an upset or not. Betsy Lane beat them the only time they Martin's been beat this year, and Betsy Lane beat them. And, uh, of course, this is played on a neutral floor. And uh, Martin Martin just made some mistakes there in the first half. It got them down at halftime, and, but they came back. But it seemed like they just missed some uh, assignments on defense, and it cost them. Well, you told me in the office today that this would be as exciting as the district tournament, and it's everything you said it would be. I've been to SEC tournament and the NCAA and uh, OVC and various so many state tournaments, and the uh, emotion that rides high in this grade school tournament is just as important as any of those. Well, the Floyd County grade school basketball tournament is second to none. Uh, our athletic director, Frankie Francis, and all those who put this thing together, all the coaches from all the sectional, four sectionals, and to the, the down to this very night here has done an excellent job. It's a big job, and uh, it, the crowd gets into this. They love the kids, and it's more exciting than a district high school basketball tournament. Yes, it is. We'll uh, be back with Ed Taylor again in the broadcast where he'll just talk about how this started and how these four teams ended up together in this championship match from the Adams Middle School. We'll be back in just a few moments. When you add up all the Wi-Fi connected devices in your home these days, you'll be surprised how many there are and how much bandwidth they're using. Do the math. It just may add up to needing faster internet and Wi-Fi. Good thing Gearheart Broadband has reliable download speeds up to one gig and Plume Adaptive Home Wi-Fi to keep all your devices well connected. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or visit Gearheart Broadband online for a great offer. And as we broke away from our sponsors, Ed got time to look up here just how this thing all was put together. And Ed, tell us real quick what went on. Well, of course, it's all broke down in where the regional winner and the uh, runner-up, rather, and uh, I mean the district sectional winner and runner-up in each section comes to this tournament, which makes eight teams in both, both girls and boys' division. In the boys' division, Melvin, which is a good ball team, lost to Betsy Lane, which was runners up and over in section three. And uh, Betsy Lane advanced because of beating Melvin. And then Betsy Lane lost to Martin in the semifinal, putting Martin, of course, in tonight's championship game. In the bottom bracket, how Adams got here was they defeated Duff, a good ball club, from up, uh, up right Beaver Way. They beat Duff. And then, uh, of course, they knocked off uh, John M. Stumbo in a real barn burner here last Tuesday night in, in overtime, and they, they, they advanced to the finals to play Martin. What's so ironic about this game here tonight coming up is that Adams-Martin never met during the regular season. Both teams played Stumbo uh, twice or three times. Martin beat Stumbo twice, and, of course, uh, Pressburg beat uh, Adams, rather, beat uh, Stumbo twice. So it's going to be a real good matchup. These two never met during the regular season. In the girls' bracket, McDowell lost to Betsy Lane in the first round play, and Martin beat Allen, which and then Martin knocked off Harold, rather. I'm sorry, Harold beat McDowell, and then Martin knocked off Harold in the semifinals to get to the finals. Of course, Betsy Lane defeated Osborne, and then they beat Adams in the semifinals Tuesday night to advance to the finals. And, of course, Betsy Lane won their championship 42 41 in an exciting finish now do they have all tournament teams and stuff like that last year they had it this year i don't know. i think it just hit more it's up to the whole school whether they want to uh show favoritism or what i really don't like it in grade school tournament like this okay we're about to see new nets come on the floor for the second game they'll have put new nets as they cut the winners cut down the old ones and they're an excited bunch of girls oh uh, well they ought to be. Martin's got nothing to be ashamed of. Martin had a fine season. This is only their second loss. They won 19 ball games, lost two. Hey, that's nothing to hang your head about. That, that's a good season. And uh, not only that, it's not only do, is, is that important, but the fact that both the girls and the boys end up right here tonight is a uh, mark on both uh, Doug Jarosset and Jimmy Hopkins. Yeah, uh, both do a real good job. And uh, listen, you just can't give Sheila Ortega enough credit for what she's done at Betsy Lane. She has really, you know, you know, when this lady come in to coach in basketball, she confessed 
She knew nothing about coaching, but she has turned this Betsy Lane girls basketball program around. And of course, she has some good quality players, but it takes a good coach to how to get out of those players, you know. And Chris Sloan now coming onto the floor there. Uh, <laughs> former Black Cat. Uh, Mark, if you can see him, zoom right in there. He's a engineer student now, uh, Ed, at the University of Kentucky. So these athletes are really, uh, we're, we're producing some pretty good kids here in the county. Well, Mark, um, um, I'm sorry, Chris not only was a good basketball player, but like you said, he's a good person. He, he's got a real good personality about him. He's a friendly person and an excellent student. And I understand he's doing great down in the UK. So uh, Chris, instead of pursuing a basketball career in college, he went more to engineering. Okay, we will be back for the presentation of the trophies here on the Channel 5 Sports Network. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. He's the representative of the junior pro, him and Denzel Allen co-sponsored this and it was quite a tournament for the girls, uh, Dickie. Very, very exciting ball game tonight. Uh, I don't think that anybody could ask for a better ball game than uh, what we just saw here. Really don't. Okay, they're uh, going to hand the uh, trophies out here and we'll listen to Bobby Joe Spencer. just won the second runner-up in the girls trophy Adams Middle School yeah which is next? I think we're having uh, third place. Individual. Free throw world. Jamie Radcliffe just won the free throw award. Yeah, she can see right up there on the camera there. Jamie Radcliffe just awarded the free throw award. This is a team award. Harold Red Devils. And they did a fine job displaying what they did in the tournament. champions experience these girls will never forget Dicky you're exactly right they loving every bit of it the smaller trophies Here, I believe. 
Handing out the trophies here on the floor. Say, Denzel, these uh, trophies will end up on the mantle and some awful proud parents. I would definitely say that. It'll be something they can keep for years. That's true. The coach, the Martin Purple Flash runners up, and they've had a fantastic year coached by Doug Garosik. Misty Clark. Okay, there you have it, the presentations of the trophies, both girls, teams, Betsy Lane, the champions, and the uh, Martin Purple Flash, the runners-up here. So we'll be back with more here from the Adams Middle School just shortly. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. 
online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. We have built one of the best grade school programs ever to be in the uh, Floyd County. I tend to agree. There you are. You have them in the finals again. What is the secret? Well, we have uh, great community support. We have great uh, school support. I have a bunch of uh, boys who listen real well. Uh, most of the time, they play beyond their capabilities. Well, when you talk about capabilities, just what have we got on store for the Purple Flash? Who do we need to look for? What do we need to look for? And anything else that could pertain to this basketball game tonight? Well, being assistant coach at Miguel High School plus a, a great school coach here at Martin, I haven't really had time to go out and scout like I usually do. Uh, I've had some parents to give me some real good scouting reports on Adams. Uh, I expect them to play some man-to-man, uh, -man, full court deny basketball. I expect them to play maybe some 3-2, uh, half court, maybe some 1-2-2, uh, two, two, half court, maybe a little 2-2-1 two, two, press on us. Okay, Coach. All of us boys down here at WPRG, we want to wish you a lot of luck tonight. Well, thanks. We're glad you know we have a good turnout tonight. As you can see about our community, they're really behind our team. And you talk about the Martin community, I can't help but dwell over there. Over here, Mark, at the big sign from the high school over here on the wall where they say, smoke them like trash, purple flash, and send the cats to the doctor. Well, uh, we have some real sharp students at Martin. Well, I have to say they came up with a good one there. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, hey, Jimmy Hopkins, head coach there at Martin Grade School. We'll be back with more pregame festivities of tonight's championship game from Adams Middle School. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. When you add up all the Wi-Fi connected devices in your home these days, you'll be surprised how many there are and how much bandwidth they're using. Do the math. It just may add up to needing faster internet and Wi-Fi. Good thing Gearheart Broadband has reliable download speeds up to one gig and Plume Adaptive Home Wi-Fi to keep all your devices well connected. If you're ready for an upgrade, Call or visit Gearheart Broadband online for a great offer. Okay, Joe back here with the Martin boys. Tell your name and what grade you in? Uh, Savas. What's your name? Adam Coleman. Okay, good luck to you tonight. Thomas Jenkins and I'm 12. Good luck to you, buddy. Kevin Robinson and I'm 12. Bo Tackett, I'm 12. I'm good luck to grade. you, Bo. CK Dingus and I'm 12. Oh, yeah, big Dingus boy. Good luck to you. My name's Bill uh, Higgins. I'm in 7th grade and I'm 12. My name's Shane Blackman. I'm in 6th grade and I'm 12 years old. Good luck to you, buddy. My name's Brad Dez, and I'm seven, sixth grade, and I'm 11 years old. Okay. I'm Christopher McKinney. I'm 13, and I'm in gr seventh grade. Are you Mickey's boy? Yep. Well, I wish you a lot of luck, boy. My name's Dwight Damon. I'm in sixth grade, and I'm 11 years old. Good luck to you. My name's Jason Bevins. I'm seventh grade, 13 year old. Good luck to you. There we go. Good luck to you, little man. Okay, we'll get them four more. Oh, they must be the captains.
got some other boys there. What's your name? Brian Cohen. What grade you in? Hey. Good luck to you. What, what's your name? John Paul Sexton. What grade you in? Eight. Good luck to you. What? What's your name, boy? Kevin Stumbo. Huh? Kevin Stumbo. What's, what grade? Eight. Good luck. Hope you're all an eighth grader. Hey, buddy. Wish you a lot of luck. Thank you. What's your name? Byron Gearhart. What, uh, what grade you in? Eight? Eight. You look like an eighth grader. Good luck. What's your name? Um, Clayton Taggart. What grade you in? Eight. Good luck to you, buddy. There you go, all the Martin boys. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. And at this time, we once again want to thank all the sponsors that helped us out with tonight's uh, ball game. My good friend Billy Ray Collins, who has the girls at the Playhouse Restaurant on Court Street, just fix the best homegrown dinners you could possibly get in Prestonsburg and a clean place to sit down and see all the news and everything just right there at the Playhouse Restaurant. Now, the Fashion Bazaar there at Martin, they have things, their clothes on sale, 25 to 50% off. And uh, they've got name brands such as Bonnie and Bill, Union Bay, Pinky, and they are located in the new Martin Plaza right behind the First Guarantee National Bank. And I can't forget Zeppelin's Pizza and Yogurt Sandwiches. If you're in Martin, stop by at Zeppelin's and get in on the food being served there. Also located in the new Martin Plaza right behind the First Guarantee National Bank. We'll be back with the starting lineup from Adams Middle School for tonight's second game and the championship game of the Floyd County Grade School Tournament here from Adams Middle School. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. Bobby Joe Spencer, many of you people on Prater Creek know Bobby Joe as he uh, does the preaching over there at the Sammy Clark branch. So we've got a big, big game. Wilburn Salmon's in the ball, come in here tonight, watch him play. And a big, big ball game. And Brent Allen here, over there tonight. He's got two boys play on that team. Here we go. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's second game, the finals of the Floyd County Elementary Basketball Tournament. In tonight's game, we will have the Adams Middle School Black Cats taking on the Martin Pepper Flag. Adams, the business on the scoreboard, enters tonight's game with a record of 17 and two winners of section four, coached by Jack Goodman and Randy Gerhardt. Now let's meet the starters for the Black Cats. First of all, at center, number 54, Larry Moore. And at forward, number 32, Thomas Rattler. And at forward, number 45, Jason Spurlock. And at guard, number 33, Jason Spencer. And at guard, number 23, Ryan Ortega. for the home team, the Martin Purple Flash. The home team on the scoreboard with a record of 21 and seven, 
winners of Section 1, coached by Jimmy Hopkins. At guard, number 10, Toby Robinson. <coughs> And at guard number 23, Kevin Sumbo. And at center, number 33, Jason Bevan. And at forward, number 15, Byron Gerhardt. And at forward, number 51, Brian Kahn. Okay, Mark, looking right here at me. We've got uh, the tip-off about to start, and Mark, I got two of my good friends right here, Brooks Stumbo and my old buddy Michael Clark. Now this is Harold Stumbo's grandson in the red, and Blaine Hall's grandson here in the white. Many people over on uh, uh, Prater Creek and uh, Left Beaver Creek all know these boys, and we wish you all little luck tonight. <laughs> okay? Come on, Michael, you're not a shy boy. Okay, we better go. Okay, ready? Okay, we're here at the Adams Middle School where we're a big time championship game here in the grade school. Adams Middle School against Martin. Adams controls by Jason Spurlock. He decides to bring her back out front and let number 23, Ryan Otega. He's supposed to be an all-star, soon to be. They dish it around, back to Ortega. And he's walking. And I'll tell you what, uh, Mark, these, uh, these Martin people are ready to win. Okay, bringing down the ball is Kevin Stumbo. Back over to Brian Kahn, inside to the big man, number 15. And he'll be Brian Gearhart, and he'll be called for walking. So two walking calls right here in the first uh, early going. And the middle school brings her down the floor. Over to number 32, Thomas Ratliff. And he scores two to nothing. Here from the Adams Middle School, two to nothing. Up on top, those black cats taking on the purple flash. Up inside to number 15, uh, Brian Gearhart. And he will miss that attempt. And there'll be a foul on 32. Thomas Ratliff. So, the Purple Flash get an opportunity. They're the home team tonight. Uh-oh, walking again on number 23, Kevin Stumbo. Here comes the middle school down the court. Jason Bevins over to, excuse me, Ryan, Ryan Ortega, Jason Spencer, Ortega, back to Spencer, Ortega, looking around, back to Spencer, over to number 32, Thomas Ratliff, it dribbles off his foot. Here at the Adams Middle School, two to nothing, they're on top, over the visiting boys from Martin, the Purple Flash. Jimmy Hopkins has his team ready to play. Here we go. Over to, oh, kick the ball. Should have been a penalty on that one, but here comes the middle school down, and they score by number 54, uh, Larry Morris. And there's a foul on the play. And that'll be a three-point opportunity for the middle school. Ernie Tackett, Betsy Lane, uh, boys basketball coach, the great school coach here tonight. He fared well in the tournament. No good by uh, Morris. And here comes the purple flash on the move. Over to Robinson, big shot there by number 33, Jason Bevins, rebound by the middle school. Here comes Moore, er, Ratliff, and it'll go to Martin. Turnover. So these big, big fans from Martin getting into the contest early. Here come the middle, 
the Martin purple flash inside. Big, big shot there by number 10, to Toby Robinson. Put back up there by 23, Kevin Stumbo, and there'll be a foul as number 15, Brian Gearhart, was uh, trying to put the pressure on some uh, uh, rebound shot. And it'll go back to Martin. And they throw it in bounds to the Purple Flash. The boys from Martin on the run. Oh, and man, Toby Robinson just overlooked Brian Kahn. And now the middle school is in control. Mark, we've got us a good one. Here from the middle school, from Prestonsburg, here on the Lancer Road. Here comes the uh, offense, and Spencer takes a big shot, just shy, puts her back up uh, by Thomas Ratliff. And I'll tell you what, six unanswered points by the middle school right now. And uh-oh, here comes the pressure from the middle school. Martin having trouble. And they bring it down the court. And man, I'll tell you what, they're going to have to take a timeout, Jimmy. As Toby Robinson just threw that ball away. And the purple flash is somewhat dismayed, possibly by this big crowd tonight. Emotion six to nothing. Here comes the middle school on the offensive side. Shot there by Ratliff. Good. Eight to nothing. And these schools have never met tonight, so they, they oh, man, there should have been a foul there. And eight to nothing, and these middle school fans are going crazy here at the middle school here in Prestonsburg. Eight to nothing. Inside low, turnaround jump shot by number 54, Larry Morris. And we've got a foul. I don't understand why Coach Hopkins hasn't taken a timeout with eight unanswered points during the first quarter. Might need to settle his team down. Nevertheless, yet, number 54, Larry Morris, will step to the free throw line for the middle school to connect on two. Let's see what he does. It's important to hit your free throws in a championship game in the tournaments. They add up so much. First one, no good. No good on that one. Big rebound there by Martin. Toby Johnson, Robinson brings it down. Robinson in control of the ball. Goes across court. Picked off by Spencer. He's on the run. Oh, man, Jason Spencer had a big, big play there. Over to number 23, Ryan Ortega. Back out to 45, down then low to number 54, Larry Morrison. Once again, they're going to be called for a foul. Eight to nothing, and man, are these fans going wild tonight. Eight to nothing, 232 in the ball in the first quarter. Timeout, Martin, with the score. Eight for the middle school, nothing for Martin. We'll be back after these words from our precious sponsors. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Where school is up on top over Martin, eight to nothing, where number 54, Larry Morris, will go to the line to attempt two. His first one, bank shot, good. Two, 32 to go here in the first quarter, and nine unanswered points. Man, oh man, I can't understand what's wrong with Martin. Nine to nothing. The next one, no good. Rebound there, and I'd say Jason Spencer will be called for the foul. Jason Spencer. Here from the middle school. Brings it down, Martin does, over to Robinson. He pops from the free throw line, in and out. Big, big, just an unlucky shot there. Here comes Jason Spencer up for the shot, and he'll be uh, blocked, but no foul was called, so that's good if you're a Martin fan. And the middle school will take control of the ball from out and underneath their own bucket. Over to number 45, Jason Spurlock. He loses control of the ball, 
And they keep it. I can't understand that. There as the Martin team got beat on that loose ball. You've got to get these loose balls, boys, if you're going to win this thing. Here comes Spencer back out front to Spurlock. Spurlock looks around, drives in. He's caught up, and Robinson was trying to pick the ball up. But in the event, so number 51, uh, Brian Kahn in on the foul. So here in the first quarter, nine unanswered points here as Prestonsburg, the middle school, up on top. Ortega back out to 21. John Paul, six, excuse me, 21. Robert Reisner. Heated action down there, Mark. And that will send number 32, Thomas Ratliff, to the free throw line. His first shot, no good. Next one. Got it. Ten unanswered points for the middle school. The purple flash. A little bit out of control. Here comes. They're putting the prints. Broke up there by number 45. And I'll tell you what, Jason Spurlock in this now 12 unanswered points. I don't understand what's going on, but these middle school boys are flat right out putting it on us. And there's a foul there by number 45, Jason Spurlock. And Mark, I'll tell you what, buddy, if this thing doesn't get under control, we may be in a little bit of trouble. Okay, for Martin, number 23, throws the ball away. Kevin Stumbo, and they drive her in. No good by T. Sloan. So we got a foul. So Sloan into the ball game for the middle school. Up come the purple flash. Let's see if they can't get things going on this trip. Robinson down to Kahn. He fires no good. Rebound 51. Brian Kahn. Let's see what happens. Now I heard that one. I heard that one. Here come Martin. Let's see what can happen. Robinson, he shoots. No good. This, oh, I'll tell you, it's hitting 0% here. Okay. Con over to Robinson. He finds uh, Gearhart. And there'll be a a foul. Forty-six seconds to go, and I'll tell you what, folks, these twelve unanswered points for uh, Adams Middle School may very well cost Martin the championship because anytime you play six minutes in the first quarter and you don't even get any points up on the board. Man, that's not, not a good sign here as number 15, Brian Gearhart, will try to put that out of the slump. First shot, got it. Finally, one point on the board here in the first quarter. Comes from a three throw. Next shot. Gosh, missed it. Rebound middle school. They're on the run. Here comes Ortega. Ortega with the ball. He connects and looks around, running the offense. Gives her up. Gives her down to number 21, Robert Reisner, and we're going to have a foul. Second foul on uh, 
one of the athletes for Martin. I didn't catch that. Okay, here comes the middle school taking the ball out of bounds. Gets it over to 53, Allen. Back out to Ortega. He pops it up, number 32, and that is Tommy Ratliff. And Tommy's playing a heck of a good ball game here in this first quarter. And I, can, I hate to say it, folks, but I can't say that about Martin. They just threw the ball away there, and it stays in their hands. Fortunately, it knocked out of bounds by the middle school. Okay, into the ball game now for Martin is uh, Stumbo. He gets back in. Let's see what can go here. 11 seconds to go here in the first. They're just playing totally out of control. And uh, eight seconds to play. L lost foul there. Should have been called, but it didn't make it. And Gerhardt shoots, and he gets fouled by number 21, uh, Robert Reisner of the middle school. Spencer back into the game, taking out Reisner for the middle school. And that'll send for Martin. Brian Gearhart to the lane. His first shot, no good. Free throws are going to kill Martin if they don't start hitting them. You've got to hit these free throws, boys. There's not a high school coach in the county that won't tell you, so you just go start listening to me now. Next shot for Gerhart. In and out. They're going to get another one on account of a lane violation. They're against Prestonsburg. Next shot. Got it. Finally. Two to 14. They're down by 12. And the close. Oh, just barely missed there by... Uh, uh, middle school Larry Moore or excuse me Tommy Ratliff so with the first six minutes coming to a close the middle school leads over Martin 14 to 2 and I must say it was a disappointing quarter for the Purple Flash we'll be back in 30 seconds after this word from our sponsors a satellite signal comes from outer space the satellite office across the country and their call center Hmm, we'd better not even go there. So if you want to do business in your hometown with people you know and trust, call Cable. Gearheart Broadband is locally owned and operated. Our number one concern is giving you, your neighbors, and your community friendly, local customer support. Get everything you want. Go local. Go Gearheart Broadband. From the Adams Middle School, and, we're go and Mark, I want to tell you something, old buddy. Now, Mark, we're going to go somewhere after this game. We're going somewhere. And my old buddy, we've been, been together so many times. <laughs> here, six minutes to go here in the half as the middle school is up on top, 14 to two. 5.58 to go in the half. And Martin in control of the ball, but not the game. And there should have been a foul, and there is on number 32, uh, Tommy Ratliff, and he picks up his second personal. Here as into the ball game now for Martin is number 23, Kevin Stumbo, number 51, Brian Kahn, number 10, uh, Toby Robinson, and 33, Jason Bevins, and number 15, Brian Gearhart. That starts the 10 here in the second quarter. Up, got it, three. You've got to hit these free throws if you're going to stay in this ball game. It looks as... It's looking rough for Martin. They've got a big, big hole to dig out of. And they miss on that one, but they fight for the rebound. And it goes to the middle school. Here comes Ratliff down to Ortega. He fires up the shot. No good, but he was fouled. Fouled by the Purple Flash, number 51. No, number 10 of the Purple Flash. Robinson picks up a foul. Three fouls on that boy. Really? They'll have to take him out. So, Ortega steps to the line, hits the first one, connects on the next one, got it. 16 to three. 
big, big ball game for the middle school. I can't believe it. Three to 16. Folks, I don't understand what's wrong with these boys from Martin. They can play better than this. I've watched them. Up no good by Robinson. And the middle school back in control. Bringing it up the floor is Ortega. He brings it across the middle line, goes over there, gets it to Spencer. Spencer dishes around, looks around. He's got Allen open, but he doesn't get it to him. Back to Ortega. They find big 54. And that is Larry Morris. And they just put 18 to 3 up there right now. And I don't understand it. Purple Flash definitely having problems here tonight. Bennett Allen in the game. Or excuse me, Brian Allen. Okay, Martin throws her in. They get her out there to number 23, Kevin Stumbo. Back out to number three, Kevin Robinson. Inside to another big man, number 33, Jason Bevins. He passes, he throws it up, no good. Rebound by number 32, Tommy Ratliff for the middle school. And they tie him up down there, and the purple flash is on the run here in the second quarter. Oh, we're going to have a foul on Ortega. So there will be a foul on Ortega. That's his first. If you're Johnny Ray Turner or Johnny Martin or Junior Moot Newsom, you can't help but notice how this middle school's looking. They've got some fine athletes coming up in the Prestonsburg program. I'll tell you, they're up 18 to three, unbelievable. Four, finally, they get some more points scored as Kevin Stumbo connects on the first one of these free throws, the next one coming. Throws are up, no good. Rebound there by Ratliff. He gets it back to Ortega, he's the point guard for the middle school. Back to Ratliff. Looking around. They get it over to Spencer. Over to Allen. He loses control of it. And it's knocked out of bounds by Martin. So, let's see what they're going to do. Ratliff will take the ball out of bounds for the middle school. They get it in. They look. They find Brian Allen. Back out to Ortega. Tega. Spencer will shoot from the free throw line. No good. Rebound. It was by Martin, but they somehow lost control of it. And it goes back to the middle school. Ratliff up, no good. And it should have been uh, there, they called it. Should have been went to Martin. They've got the call. Here, right in the Adams Middle School, here on the Lancer Road, the championship game of the grade school tournament. Bad pass there by number three, Kevin Robinson. He had good intentions, but the defense was there to get it. Here comes Ortega. He goes over, and he's going to lose control of it. So the Martin Purple Flash, slowly but surely, beginning to work their way back. 3.55 to go, 18 to 4. 14 points down. They've got to start connecting now. Zone now being applied by Mar or the middle school. No good by uh, 15. Con. Gearhart, I mean. And the ball went out of bounds and it will go to the middle school. It's their home floor. And Ortega should have been a, a walking, but they're going to call a foul. Two, three for Martin. That's Kevin Stumbo, his first uh, foul. Here at the Great School Championship. Ortega misses on that one. 3.31 to go. Next on the next one, 19 to 14. Yeah, 
Here they come. Out of, oh, they just. Martin just totally out of control here in this uh, ball game. I, I'm really, I'm really just can't understand what's going on out there with them boys. Here they come. For one, they're playing here in middle school in the champion. That's uh, going to be 54 in and out for the middle school. And that was Larry Morris. So the middle school will take it back out of bounds. Ratliff over to Allen. Back out to Ortega. Ortega back to Ratliff. They're looking around. They go inside for Ortega. Throws it away. Kicked off Martin. And he'll get to keep the ball. 3-0-2 to go in the first half. And number 53, Brian Allen. That's Brent Allen's boy in the ball game for... Preston's Birds Middle School. And they time up, and it, they're just fighting around there, and who's going to get control of this game? And it will go to Preston's Birds Middle School. They're up 19 to 4. Two fifty-three, and I'll tell you what, there is a, a heck of a ball game going on, but uh, the score doesn't show it. It's 19 to four with the middle school up on top. Here comes the ball out front to Ortega. They throw it away, and it'll go to Martin. So Martin gets a break there. Back to the ball game. Big shot play by Gerhardt. Good job. Six to 19, and that begins a drive for the Purple Flash, and here comes the middle school. They're down here on their end of the floor. Spencer, Spencer ginning around here, and he was called for walking. Six to 19. Here comes the Martin Purple Flash. Jenning around there, they go down low. They find number 35. Oh, he misses it. Oh, Adam Coleman, he had the shot, but came up. to six up goes number 54 Larry Morris he connects in does not connect on the first one and Martin fans are really out of this game right now for the next one's good 20 to six 14 point lead for the middle school here they come, the purple flash. Let's see if they can get something going now. Sometimes I wish they had the three-point play tonight. Might help them out. Back out front, over to Robinson. He'll shoot, yeah, just off the rim. Rebound the middle school. Here they come. And that'll be thrown away by Tommy Ratliff, number 32. And that'll give the ball back to the middle school. Up goes Gerhardt. No good. They're getting it. And Martin will take the ball out from underneath their own basket. Back out front to number 23. And the shot will go by number 33, Jason Bevins. No good. Big rebound there for him. He got it, though. Jason Bevins on a turnaround jump shot. 8 to 20. Let's build this lead. Let's let's get this lead back now, boys. Come on. Martin, let's get in the game. And the middle school, they lose control. And here comes Martin. They're on the run. Gerhardt. And he will have a 
blocking foul on Ortega. On Ortega. 20 to 18. So let's see if uh, Gearhart can step to the line and connect on a big, big free throw. Here from the middle school in Prestonsburg, the site, the championship game of this great school Floyd County tournament. The first one, no good. You've got to hit these free throws, boys. Let's see what he does on the next one. Brian Gearhart, no good. Can't expect to get the lead by doing that. Here comes Spencer, walking the ball up. Gets a little pressure from Martin. Over to, back to Spencer. Over to Ratliff. They're looking around. Clayton Tackett into the game. They, he's wanting the ball, but he doesn't get it. Ratliff shoots the ball. No good. Excuse me, not Clayton Tackett, but uh, Robert Reisner. 105 to go here in the half as the middle school on, is up on top. Eight to 20, 12 point lead for Prestonburg. Boy, I tell you what, Coach Hopkins, I don't blame you, buddy. You can't expect too much from your team when they come down and throw the ball away like that. Martin is just mentally out of this game. They're going to have to put it together here in the second half if they're going to do anything. We're under a minute here in the first half. From the middle school, here comes Reisner down the floor, gets it into the big man, number 54, Larry Morris. And back out front to Jason, and they lose control of it, and Martin scraps around here. Jump ball, and that'll go to Martin. It should go to Martin on that. No, it was in favor of the middle school. So, Prestonsburg regains control, 8 to 20. Back out front to Spencer. Spencer drives around, goes across town to number 45, and he's tripped up. And that was Jason Spurlock, and the foul will be committed against him. Let's see who they call. 15, that's Brian Gearhart connected in on a foul there, and that'll send... Spurlock to the line. No good. Twenty to eight. Moving it around. Let's see what he does on this one. Thirty six seconds. No good. Rebound Martin, and they're on the run. Toby Robinson with control. Pops around, doubles around there in between his legs. And it should go to Martin. Yes, it does. And they, Toby Robinson out front to uh, Kevin Stumbo. Back over to Robinson. He connects no good for him. Rebound Reisner, here we go. Spencer bringing the ball up the floor and there'll be a foul there and that is four on Robinson. Got to get him out of there. Too, too many fouls to have on that man in this part of the game. Man, he, that's in, it sends him in trouble. That'll send Sp Jason Spencer to the line for the middle school. First one, no good. 12 seconds to play here in this first half. And the next shot, no good. And they rebounded by Martin, and here we go, Stumbo. He's got six seconds on the clock, and he's looking for a man out front to number 32. They can't get a shot off, and they don't. So it's a halftime score. Martin, eight, the middle school of Prestonsburg, 20. We'll be back with our halftime show here on the championship game of elementary schools here in Floyd County. 
Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. If you're listening, Okay, boys. Okay, with me here at halftime here at the county grade school championship uh, tournament uh, at halftime where I've got two of the co finest coaches in the county. Of course, they're all good coaches, boys. But uh, in the championship game, the middle school looking awful good over Jimmy Hopkins Martin team. Coach Gordon Perido from Prestonsburg and Johnny Ray Turner from McDowell. And Johnny Ray, I'm going to start with you because you're 3-0 oh in the conference and you're heading for the pennant. Well, I tell you, Joe, that's uh, it's a long way off, though, because I tell you what, this, uh, this county is always tough. Anytime you play a county team, we still got to play at Prestonsburg. We still got to play at uh, Wheelwright, and we've got all the, we've got all the teams again. So uh, we're three and zero right now, and we'll we'll cherish that right now. But uh, anything can happen. Coach, you've gotten off to somewhat of a slow start, although fundamentally. You've got one of the soundest uh, fundamental teams in the county. I've told you that before. You don't want to believe me, but you do. You look at this middle school, and I see some awful good talent coming up. Yeah, there's some good talent out here. I think some of these guys we could probably use when we go back and play Belfry on the 29th. I believe uh, we might have to pick some up. Well, as far as uh, your record in uh, county now goes, you're kind of having to fight up uh, against uh, uh, losses to Betsy Lane and McDowell, and that puts you in a... More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. 
With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. A quick score, or now the buckets only stand 10 the difference. 20 to 10. 5, 40 to go in the third quarter. Larry, Larry Morris connects on the first free throw. Rebound Martin, 21 to 10. The middle school up on top. Here it comes, Thumbo. Into the big man. Jump shot by number 35, uh, Adam Coleman in and out, and they scramble down low for the ball, and it uh, and it will go back to Martin. Shot up by Gearhart, no good. And a foul on the play. <laughs> 10 to 21, the middle school up on top. To the ball game now for Prestonsburg is number 53 Brian Allen and number 54 Larry Morris. 522 to go here in the third quarter. Up no good. Both shots by Gearhart incompleted. No good. And Ortega with the ball. He goes over to Reisner, over to the big man, number 54, Morris. And Gerhardt steals it and went the length of the floor and is fouled and fouled by Reisner as he is getting the call of the third quarter to play. 10 to 21. Reisner called to the bench to talk to the coaches from the middle school. And that will send Gearhart to the line for two. First one, no good, or good, excuse me. 11 to 21, cuts it to 10. Next shot there for Gearhart, up. No good, rebound by number 32, Ratliff. Ortega with the ball. Goes back to Morrison. He'll be fouled by number 35 of Martin. And that is Adam Coleman. So Ortega will take the ball out for the middle school and that'll go to Ratliff. Ratliff in control. He gets it back to Ortega. Brings her down court, and he throws it away. So a big break for Martin there here in the third quarter. 4.51 to go. And they'll bring it up. And 23, Kevin Stumbo brings her up. And intercepted there by Ratliff. And Ortega back with the ball, crosses the midline stripe, and he starts it. Goes up by Rasner, no good. And rebound by Gearhart. He's playing a good ball game, that Brian Gearhart is. Here comes Stumbo, drives down, double pump, no good. Rebound by Allen. And a good big rebound there by Allen, and he gives the ball to Ortega. He dribbles it up court, gets it back inside to the big man, over to Ratliff. And he lays it up, no good, and we're gonna have a foul on number. Let's see, who's it gonna go against? Five, four, that will go against uh, Morris, Larry Morris. Morris, Allen, Ratliff, Ortega, and Reisner in the game, and in the ball game for Martin. And we're gonna take a timeout, and I'll tell you who they are here at the end of this break. More than ever, 
We're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. We're bringing you the championship game of the boys elementary tournament here in the county where the middle school is up on top 21 to 11 over Martin. And Martin was no doubt about it picked to win this thing, but they find themselves down 10 points. Here we go in the ball game for Martin. Yep, first shot is Gerhard. He up no good. Rebounds his own shot. Hustles around there. Somehow they miss it, and the middle school comes up with it, and Ortega brings it up the court. Ortega back to Ratliff. Great big man there by Larry Morris. He picks it up, goes back to Ortega, and we got a timeout as there's a bloody nose there on number 33, Jason Bevins, and took an elbow, I'd say. Is he okay? to the middle school. They bring her back out. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back here in just a moment. When you add up all the Wi-Fi connected devices in your home these days, you'll be surprised how many there are and how much bandwidth they're using. Do the math. It just may add up to needing faster internet and Wi-Fi. Good thing Gearheart Broadband has reliable download speeds up to one gig and Plume Adaptive Home Wi-Fi to keep all your devices well connected. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or visit Gearheart Broadband online for a great offer. And we're ready to resume play here. Ortega will take it out. For the middle school, he gets it into Ratliff. Ratliff backs away, stolen away by Stumbo, and they're on the run, and they call him out of bounds. And Stumbo threw the ball up there. Could have been a technical timeout. And there's going to be another timeout here with 3.38 to play here in the third quarter. 21 for the middle school, 11 for Martin, as they're battling to get the lead here on the Channel 5 Sports Network. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. Uh, I've never seen a man hate that as bad as you do. Uh, at the middle school, play has resumed. And looks like Larry Morris is going to be called for walking. 21 to 11. And Hopkins is trying to build this lead, trying to get I me, mean, trying to get this lead it back. Here we go. They've never led tonight. I take it back. They've never led. Here, big rebound there by the middle school as 51. Brian Kahn had a no good shot. Going to be a blocking foul. 
And Brian Kahn will be called for the foul. Ryan Ortega will take, uh, let's see, no, I'm wrong about that. Tommy uh, Ratliff will take the ball out. He gets it over to Allen, back to Ortega. He lob play there for the big man Morris, no good. Here in the championship game. A lot of action yet to be seen. Stay tuned. We'll have the trophies in the net cutting ceremony after this is over. Here from the middle school in Prestonburg, Ortega, back out to Reisner. Jump shot wanted to be there by uh, Tommy Ratliff, and he takes it to the basket and scores. 23 to 11, and he'll get a shot to, he'll get a chance to get a free throw, make a three-point play. <laughs> Got it. 24 to 11. And here comes the purple flash. Let's see if they can't get something going here. And Gearhart lays up a shot, gets his own rebound, has to battle again, and they call a foul on uh, Ratliff. I believe it'll be Ratliff. No, it's going to go against 54. Larry Morris. Eleven to twenty-four. No good. As Gearhart misses on the first one, these boys need to hit these free throws. So important. Next one, no good. Short. Morris on the rebound. Here come the middle school boys. As Ortega out front with the ball goes over to Reisner, back to Tackett. I mean, excuse me, Ratliff. And he dribbles off his foot. And that'll give it back to the Purple Flash. Here comes Kevin Stumbo down to Gearhart. He'll take it in for a jump shot. No good. And they're going to call a foul on Larry Morris. Number 54. I'll tell you what, Charlie. Charlie Collins has got one tough job. Him and Wallen both have a tough, tough job. Into the ball game now is number 45 for the Black Cats. Jason Spurlock and Bennett Allen is still in there. He's jimming around there. Or excuse me, Brian. I, I get him and his brother mixed up. They both. I tell you what, we're about to bring an extra headset and put on her head. Then <laughs> Brian Gerhart will step to the line. Got it. 12 to 24. Okay, he connects on both of them, 13 to 24. Clock running, 2.25 to play here in the third, and here comes the middle school. They're ginning around, and Martin beginning to play heavy, heavy defense. Big play there by Allen, no good. Rebound shot by Ratliff, 26 to 13. Now Martin is beginning to fall way behind. They can do much better, I know. And the ball stolen away as Ortega takes it in and he scores and it'll be fouled by Stumbo. So I tell you what, I, I just uh, a little disappointed in Martin's play tonight as they are a much, much better ball team than what those points show. The basket will be good.
send Ortega to the line as the Prestonsburg fans beginning to stand in front of the camera. No good. Ortega ends up with it, though, as they rebound it. He'll hold it and let the clock run. Moving around. Oh, Fred Martin playing good defense there. Brian Gearhart into the ball game is number 11, Clayton Tackett, number 51, Brian Kahn, number 35, Adam Coleman, number 10 now, Jody, uh, Toby Robinson back into the game. And that sets up your Martin 51, Brian Kahn. That sets up their five out there now. And they're playing tough defense, folks. They're trying to get back into it. And that'll be a foul against uh, Brian Allen. He'll have to walk down the floor and start playing defense since the ball will go to Martin. Into the ball game now is number 33 for Martin, uh, Jason Bevins. Here we go. And they lose the ball there. My, oh, my, I hate that. Here comes the middle school. 30 to 13. Tonight must just be the black cat night. I don't understand it. And the ball turned over. Here comes Brian Allen. Lays it up off the glass. No rebound. Ratliff blocked off there by number 33 of, Prest of Martin. And they get the ball. And here comes Robinson. And the flash is on the move. He dribbles around his back. He needs to get something started, and he's playing with four fouls. Up, no good. Big rebound by Gerhardt, and he puts her back in. 15 to 30. Cuts the lead to 15 now. They've only got 40 seconds to play here in the third. Time will run out on the purple flash in the third. 15 points is the def deficit. And Ratliff inside, tied up, great ball. Here come the flash. They broke her down, and Robinson ends up, lays it off the glass, no good. And there's a foul on Ratliff. And 26 seconds stands on the third period with the score. The flash 15, and Prestonsburg 30. And that'll send Toby Robinson to the line. Into the ball game now is number 11, Clayton Tackett for Martin. In and out, no good. He's got one more coming to him. Got it. 16 to 30, 29, 15, 14 points is the difference. The last 20 seconds of the third quarter. Ortega back to Spencer. He crosses the line, looks around. They trapping him, the defense picking up there. And lays it up by Reisner, no good. Big rebound there by the middle school. And Ortega just puts it up there. And it's 32 to 16 here at the close of the third quarter. And Robinson fires away, no good. So at the end of the third quarter, with the final six minutes coming to play, in a disappointing but a better, better ball game than, than what Martin is showing. Martin is a better ball team than what they're showing. 16 to 32, they can play a lot, lot better than this. We'll be back at the end for the close of the six minutes here from Prestonsburg. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. As we watch the final fourth quarter in action, where they're up on top over Martin right now at this point in time. And the ball will stay in the hands of the middle school. 
There's going to be a technical foul right here. They're conferring at the officials table and it will go to Adams Middle School. 46 to play here. And the Nets will come down. Back to Robinson. He's playing with four fouls. And they throw it away. And Martin has had numerous opportunities to cut this lead even more as poor old Jimmy Hopkins is, Hopkins has just worked his heart out over there. And now for the middle school, Ortega back to Spencer. Brings it up the court. Ortega dribbling around, lays it up. For Rosner, got her. 34, 16. Big, big victory for the Black Cats right now. Martin lays it up, got it. 18 to 34. Let's see if we can't get things cranking here, boys. Here they come, the middle school up the court. Martin on the defense. Running around here. There we go. Over the back, Tommy Ratliff. Four fifty-seven to go. Next time off, on the Next time out, we have. Gearhart will step to the line. 457 to play here in the championship game. He connects 19 to 34. Let's see if they can't get something going here. 457. Next one up. No good. Hitting atrocious percentage. And they turn it over. I'm for that. And they shoot. Good. Kevin Stumbo on the big shot. 20 on the 34. Defense picking up by Martin. They need to get in this game. 440 to play. Ortega dribbling around in control. And he loses it. And purple flash back in control. They're working their way back. Well-coached team down there by Prestonsburg. Here comes Robinson, and he dishes it off to Stumbo. He's got a hot hand. Put her in. No good. Rebound, Robinson. He lays it up. No good. Rebound, Gearhart. He puts it back up. Got it. 23-34. 4.15 to go. The flash is working its way back. 23-34. to 34. They start holding the ball, and they throw it away. Who wants it worse, Martin or Prestonsburg? Oh, they walked with it. That's a, that was bad. Four oh four to play here. Thirty four, twenty three, offensive foul. Offensive foul on the middle school, and that'll give the ball to Martin with four minutes to play. 23-34. Here comes the flash. And we've got an inverting clock. Beginning to wonder what's happened to their team. Uh, 
as the fans beginning to get into it as they sense a comeback. I do too. Here comes, he double dribbled, got away with it though. Here come Martin Gearhart. Looks inside, finds Robinson, ends up with it. He gems around, he looks, he shoots. No good, just short. Big rebound by number 33. And he was fouled on that play. Let's see here. Jason Bevins. So hit will send Jason to the line. 23 to 34 at this time too. We want to thank Paul Gearhart for allowing the sports crew to come over here to the middle school to do that. And if you see the WPRG banner hanging on the wall with a great deal of pride. Red and white are our colors. And up for number 33, Bevins, no good. You, I tell you what, you've got to hit these here free throws if you want to. But th this free throw, this game would be a much closer game if Martin would have hit their free throws. No good. Robinson hangs her up. Golly, in and out. Just bad luck there for him. And a big rebound there for 45. Uh, Jason Spurlock, Ortega, back to Spencer, cross court to Allen. They looks around, gets it back to Spurlock. He gins around, turns around, jump shot, and then he was fouled. So that will put Spurlock on the line with 3.30 to play. Here from the Adams Middle School. Spurlock steps to the line for the middle school. First shot. No good. Next shot. No good. Rebound Martin. Gives it to Stumbo. He forces the ball down the floor. Time beginning to be a factor. Stolen away from him by Ortega. He takes it to length, and there's going to be a foul on Stumbo. That'll send Ortega to the line. Brian Ortega. Next shot. No good. Rebound, Gerhardt. 3.15 to play. It's all Prestonsburg. He lays it up. And an offensive foul. Gets Gerhardt. Here comes the middle school down the floor. And they steal it. Gerhardt takes it up. Got it. 25. 10 points the difference. Let's see if this defense can't get in action. Time is running out. Walking. Big, big play by Martin there as they get a chance to get the ball back. Here we go. Robinson playing a heck of a good ball game. And it's stolen away there. And he's knocked up there. And it's going to be a foul against Ortega. So Ortega with five fouls on the bench. Was that on Ortega? No, no. Oh, Rosner. 25, 35. Now is when you need to hit these free throws. Now you need to hit them all the time. I preach this all year long. Every one of my broadcasts, if you're an avid follower of Channel 5 Sports, you know that I i tell you, it's so important for these kids to step up to the free throw line and hit these things. Man, you've got to hit them.
First one for Stumbo. Got it. 26 to 35. Pulling up. Let's see what they can do. The next one. Up. Got it. 27-35. Defense needs to be a big part now. Martin, they've got to defend. 2.30 to play here in this game. Ortega down the floor. They steal it. Oh, no, they just lost it. And they got it in as Tommy Ratliff lays it up. And he was fouled by Jason uh, Spence, excuse me, uh, Jason Bevins. If they could cut this lead to five, Martin could very well, with a little luck and uh, defensive pressure, get right back in this thing. Tommy Ratliff steps to the line for two shots. First one, no good. Second one, got it. 36, 27, let's see what's got on top. Here comes Martin Robinson down the floor. He's got four, he has to watch. He goes inside to the big man, dishes it off to Khan, and he loses it, but they come back with it. And a jump, oh, a foul against 54, Morris. And 2.12 to play now. And that'll send them to the line. Twenty-seven, thirty-six, two, twelve to go. Lays it up. Oh man, I'll tell you what. Jason Pevins just has it roll in and plumb out. Let's go on the next one. Let's see what he can do. Got it. 28, 36. Let's see if they can put some defense on them. Ortega. Back to Ortega. He's the ball handler. They're moving the ball around. And Martin got it. Oh, man. They had it and lost it. Allen shoots. And a big foul there on Jason Pevins. So Jason Bevins in foul trouble here. One fifty-three to play. This is what it all boils down to when you start the practice towards the end of the championship game. Middle school up against Martin, and they're ahead by eight. Put it up. Got it. Brian Allen, son of Brent Allen. And the grandson of you folks over at Maytown all know Vaughn the Allen's grandson. Up, no good. And the ball stays in the hands of the middle school. Ortega will take the ball out, takes it from the referee Collins. Back to Allen, gets it inside to Tommy Ratliff, and he walks. 1.50 to go. They can cut the lead to seven with a bucket here. Here we go. Stumbo and Robinson. They're the playmakers along with Gearhart, Kahn, and Bevins. Bevins with the ball. Lays it up. No good. And the rebound by Gearhart. Got it. 30 to 27. 1.35 to go here in the game. And they're working back. And here comes the middle school. And there's a foul on the play. They've cut this lead to seven points. Man, what a comeback Martin has had. They've been as down as many as 16. And they've never led in this ball game. The Purple Flash has not had the lead at all. But they're seven points away from tying it. 1.27 to go. Man, oh man, oh man. And Tommy Ratliff will step to the line. 
This is where I agree with Gordon Perido. It ought to be a one and one. Lays it up. Got it. 38 to 30. Big time to start hitting free throws. 127 to play in the championship. And it's 39 to 30. They're back out front by nine. And here comes Martin fighting for their life. They go inside and throw it away. 30 to 39. The middle school in control. It's all theirs. Just shy of a minute away. Knocked out of bounds there by Bevins. And let's see, Spencer. Back around, he's the playmaker, and he walks. 1-12 on the clock. Put him quiet! And Robinson with the ball, he goes up, got it! 32 to 39, defense, all over, under a minute to play. Here in the championship. And they find the big man, Larry Morris, down there, and that puts uh, a foul on Bevins. Good foul there by Jason, I must add. Kept him from getting two automatic ones. And 53 seconds to play, and Larry Morris will step to the line. 32 to 39, and the purple flash is working their way back. But they may have just one major thing against them, the clock. 53 seconds to play. And it'll go to the middle school. Should the purple flash not get it back. They roll it around. Morse up. No good. Good smart thinking there by Jason Bevins when he fouled him. If he could keep him and get the ball back, that would cut the lead to five if they could score. Here it comes. No good. Rebound. Stumbo. He's on the move. They've got to score quick. Here he goes. Lays it up. Oh, no. He called walking foul on that young man. A walking penalty, excuse me. And the school is on control of the ball. The middle school. They bring it up. Ortega. 40 seconds to go. They intercept it. Number 11. And they're on the run there. Oh, no. Man, he worked so hard to get that ball, too. Clayton Tackett did. And they score 34 to 39. And we'll be back with the final 30 seconds in just a moment. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. Excuse me, Adams Middle School. Won't be long before Shaq Campbell has his grade school built over there at Allen, where they'll get them a new one and a new gym, hopefully. But right now, we're looking at the 30 seconds of play here from the new middle school in Prestonsburg on the South Lake Drive at Lancer Road, where their school is up on top over Martin, 39 to 34. And I must add, Martin has made a most spectacular comeback. They're only down by five points. They need the ball bad. Ratliff throws her down court on the run out and he throws it away. So Martin gets the ball back. 34 to 39 and they get it with no time off the clock. 30 seconds to play. Here we go. Martin, they need to get a quick bucket here. If they can, they've never had the lead tonight. Stay tuned, this is a good one, a good finish tonight. Timeout on the floor. By the middle school, we'll be back as we get a little word from our sponsors. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. Martin has an opportunity 
win this ball game, in my opinion. They're only down five points. Now, if they can get a quick basket here, and it looks as though Robinson will take the ball out, and he has played one heck of a ball game. Toby Robinson, he gets it into Stumble. Back to Robinson. He shoots. Got it! 36-39. Timeout. 36 to 39, and we are right here, and we'll just keep it here, and um, the ball game has definitely changed. Three points, 36 to 39, and Mark, it's been a good, good basketball game, although it's, Martin has had the battle to get right back this close. They've never had the lead tonight, none whatsoever. Both the stadium side are packed and standing up here. And just an excellent, excellent crowd here on hand. As you're looking right now at the Martin side of the gym, so many of them here. Rolling down the towards Christmas. 23 seconds to go and this championship will be over and the trophies will have to rest on the shelf for another summer. Let's see what we've got. 36 to 39. Ratliff. Let's see if they try another run out. Probably will do a more conservative thing. Here we go. They looking. And they call a foul on number 11 of, Mc of Martin. And that is on Clayton Tackett. Ortega will step to the line for two. First one, that's the wrong man you want up there. Got it. Big, big basket. 23 seconds to go. I'm afraid Martin may be running out of time. They finally got in this game, but the clock is no doubt about it, not in their favor. The next one, in there, 41, puts it back to five. Come on now, let's see what we can do. Toby has to bring it up, he scores. Oh, in and out, man, I'll tell you, it just wasn't his night. 36 to 41 is the score with only 14 seconds to go in the game. And man, have they played hard. Here we go. That'll put Ratliff on the line as people are beginning to sense that Preston Spurgs Middle School, the new one, may very well take their first ever championship. They've consolidated down here, Clark and all the schools, Preston Spurgs. Bring it over, he connects, it's over. Six point lead, I'm afraid. And he throws up another one, got it. Big, big free throws, and here comes uh, Toby Robinson down, and he lays it up, got it. 38 to 43, they're playing with their hearts out. And nothing can stop them now. The champions of the great school tournament in Floyd County go to the Adams Middle School where they have just been named the, or just have won the championship. It's over. So we'll be right back with the post-game festivities here on the Channel 5 Sports Network. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home the ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution 
encrypted end-to-end, -end, and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. Joe back here from the Adams Middle School where the Adams Middle School has just beat the Martin uh, Purple Flashes for their first ever championship in the county. And I want to thank these two boys for helping me all night long. My old buddy, Michael Clark and Brooke Stumbo. And boys, I appreciate it. And what do you think about tonight's uh, game with Adams Middle School winning? We came, we saw, we kicked their butt. Oh, now, what do you think about her, Brooke? We're at same thing. <laughs> okay. Well, I thank you boys here, and we'll t I'll take you home in just a minute. And uh, we're, we'll have the post-game uh, festivities. We've got some more people here. Are okay. you all from Martin? Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought, I'll tell you what, Martin did good. Thank you. Yeah, they did. They did. They did. We did our best. They did good. I'm one. How you doing? Look at well, next year. Good luck next, next year. year. That's right. So we'll break away as they are looking over down the floor here, cutting the nets, and we'll have all the pre-game, post-game festivities here on the Channel 5 Sports Network. Right back in just a few moments. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. As the post-game festivities are underway, I see a lot of there. As look up here, they've got the Floyd County champs. And Larry, Larry, you played a pretty good ball game. Thank you. And uh, how's it feel to be the first uh, bunch of boys from the new Consolidated Middle School to win a championship? Oh, it feels great, man. I'm like, we want football, and it's just awesome. It's so a great feeling. So y'all have back-to-back -back titles in football and in basketball? Yeah. Well, that's what consolidation can do, bring a bunch of boys together, and we, we wish y'all all of the well. Thank you. Okay. And they're right there. Is. They're right here from the school. We'll be back in just a few moments. Okay, here enjoying the post-game festivities where Adams Middle School has just upset is McDowell All-Star guard Stacy Hall. And Stacy, what do you think about tonight's ball game? Well, Adams played the game they wanted to. Martin didn't play until the final two minutes. It'd have been a different ball game probably if Martin came to play all night. Well, you know, Toby Robinson is one of the better ball ball players I've seen a grade school, but he just didn't have it tonight. I mean, he's really a much better ball player than what it showed. He sure is. I watched him all year. I went to a couple of Martin games, and he is a hell of an outside shooter. He can well, play, but tonight he just wasn't hitting. They wasn't letting him shoot. Well, how does it feel to be 3-0 and in the conference right now? Well, that feels good. I just hope we can keep it up. We're in the driver's seat right now. If we can go to Wheelwright and win, we can have a good shot at them taking the whole thing. Well, that's right. Then you got uh, March uh, tournaments where you want to farewell in the district. Yeah. 
Uh, we like to finish either first or second, uh, so we don't have to play two games. Uh, if we play two games, then that'd be too much for us. We had to, we had to play back to back. We like to play first night and take the second night off and come back to the championship game. Well, that uh, I talked with Coach Turner at halftime, and they no doubt about it. You boys took a rough loss up there against Pikeville. Oh yeah, it was rough. Uh, we went and uh, we played the night before, but, but we we had we had legs just that Pikeville outrun us, and we didn't just didn't play ball together. Well, that's uh, about the truth of it. I watch you all play all year long. Tickled that to bring the ball game. McDowell's playing some awful good ball. We've got a long way to go. Oh, we sure do. Uh, right now we're playing a little bit too much individual. If we can get some team ball down with them, we're going to be tough to handle. Well, that's Stacy Hall there, the main guard there on that McDowell ball team, senior, and trying to hold this thing together. You played a heck of a regional tournament last year. I'm looking forward to seeing you this year. I'm going to be there. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. There we go. We'll break away and be back with some more post-game interviews here from the new Adams Middle School. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Star player from that state tournament squad, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Stuart Robinson. And Stuart, your brother played a pretty good ball game tonight. I, but I have to admit, he has so much more potential than what he just played. Yeah, they waited, they waited until the, about the last two or three minutes of the game really start playing. If they got off to a slow start, they might have won the game. Well, Stuart, now what are you doing now since you graduated from the old Prestonsburg High School? Uh, I attend the University of Kentucky and a major, major in biology, pre-med. Pre-med, are you going to make a doctor? Yeah, I'm going to try. Well, now here's a boy that came off the Sweet 16 appearance where they won the 15th region, and we're glad to see you here, and your brother's going to look like he's taken up where you left off. Okay. Yeah, I sure hope so. Good yeah. to see you, Stuart. Okay. And here we go with the post presentation of the uh, trophies sponsored by Denzel Allen and Hatton Allen Insurance and Dickie Jarvis of the Junior Pro. Here's Principal Tackett brings them out on the floor. Mark, we're going to break away here for a commercial. When you add up all the Wi-Fi connected devices in your home these days, you'll be surprised how many there are and how much bandwidth they're using. Do the math. It just may add up to needing faster internet and Wi-Fi. Good thing Gearheart Broadband has reliable download speeds up to one gig and Plume Adaptive Home Wi-Fi to keep all your devices well connected. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or visit Gearheart Broadband online for a great offer. And the principal Tackett from over here at Adams Middle School where they are bringing you the trophy presentation. Hey, Brent. Okay, Mark, we'll slow her up here. They've got a delay. 
You're listening to Bobby Joe Spencer here at the awards. Here we go. Turn it over to Bobby Joe. Thank you for that time, man. Okay. Okay, in our individual free throw shooting trophy, we've got to send Pat back to school. <laughs> individual free throw shooting trophy is from the Adams Middle School, Ryan Ortega. <laughs> Ryan hit 72.8%. The team, the team free throw shooting trophy goes to McDowell Daredevil. The McDowell's, the team hit 61.7%. The runners-up in the Floyd County Elementary Basketball Tournament is the Martin Purple Flag. trophy of the runner-up team marked in purple flags if they are ready 
Okay, I, go ahead. Runner-up individual trophy to Martin, number 10, Toby Robinson. Let's go. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Number 23, Kevin Stumbo. Number 33, Jason Bevan. What goes to you? Jason Number 15, Aaron Gearhart. Number 51, Brian Kahn. Is that Clayton and Tackett? Number 11, Clayton Tackett. John Paul Sexton. Number 21, John Paul Sexton. Number 35, Adam Coleman. Coleman, Adam Coleman. Kevin Robinson. Number three, Kevin Robinson. I hope they borrowed some. Number 42, C.K. Dingers. Did they borrow some? Where's Gay? Gay won't have to get He's got other kids. He's got other kids. Number 32, Bowl Tackett. Got one more, Bowl Tackett. Brad Hood. Got one more. Brad Hood. Got one more. Brad Hood. Dashner. Dashner. Number four, Brad Dashner. Give him wrong, Tyler. What are we going to do? That's all we got. We don't have enough time, Sophie. That's all we got. That's all the Sophie's are in. We, the rest of the trophies, we haven't got in yet for the rest of the kids. But let's introduce them. Number 25, Thomas Jenkins. Right down there. There's not, there wasn't enough trophy. That's not no, one of them. Thomas Jenkins got a trophy he wasn't supposed to get. Uh, he got to play, he didn't get enough trophy. He got to get it, Thomas Jenkins. Thomas Jenkins got a trophy, he didn't want it. That's the joke. Well, that boy's ain't going to have no thing like it. He's only got 12. The rest of the Martin team, number five, Wade Dameron. What's that little kid's name? Number 12, number 12, Shane Blackman. We just introduced, we just introduced the kids. Number 50, Chris McKinney. 40, Bill Barnett. And number 40, Bill Barnett. Again, we're real proud of the runners up this year. The Martin Purple Flash, always competing every year. We thank them. Great tournament this year for Martin. Thomas got a wrong trophy. Yeah, he did. Uh, he got a trophy. Yeah. And now, for the Adams Middle School Black Cats, the winner of the Floyd County Elementary Basketball Tournament in their first year, Adams Middle School, the winner.
Let them get warm now, girls, before you get a run. Start, start spreading yourself around. Hey, hey, when the girls get in, take their, take their trophy when they get in the picture. Well, that'll about wrap it up here from Prestonsburg, Kentucky, where the Adams Middle School has won their first Hello. championship uh, county elementary tournament. And for my super good friend, Mark Love, I want to thank him so much for coming in and doing this ball game. It'll mean a lot to these parents. And when, if you like what you've seen tonight, everybody, thank Mark and the staff at WPRG send him a note there at the station and we want to thank uh, Paul Gearhart we want to thank Billy Ray's restaurant Zeppelin's and we want to thank uh, B Fashion Bazaar there at the Martin Plaza for allowing us to also sponsor this program so we want to just thank everybody that helped put this on here from Adams Middle School Joe Back is signing off good night everybody